Welcome back everybody, Nick Olson, Chupacabra Off-Road. Thanks for tuning in to part three of the Speed UTV video breakdown where we've been watching the live weekly videos that Robbie Gordon, the team at Speed have been putting out, breaking them down and trying to figure out is this new side-by-side -side the game changer that we're hoping it will be. Another Chupacabra sighting. So if you haven't seen our previous videos already, one and two will be linked below in the description. And there was a third live video that they did last week, which we didn't make a video on. And there were a couple little points I wanted to bring up and address before we get into this week's presentation, which was about the transmission and driveline. So like I mentioned previously, Robbie Gordon brought up a full cab enclosure option for the Speed UTV. Well, that's going to be released next summer. And Robbie brought it up that yes, if you do purchase the Speed UTV this year, you can adapt and upgrade it, but unfortunately he said that you're better off starting basically with a whole new vehicle because you have to purchase the cab enclosure, you have to purchase doors with rolling up windows, and you're gonna to have to also change out the radiator and relocate it to the front. So he mentioned this cost is gonna be anywhere from six to $8,000, which is why he mentioned you're better off waiting for a different version, which will come with the cab enclosure. A little bit more uh, difficult than I thought it would be as a potential customer. I would be hopeful to buy this one this year and then upgrade in the future if I wanted to. I'm not overly uh, sticker shocked by the price. That does make sense and sound reasonable based on what you would be getting. But uh, relocating the radiator sounds more difficult and we'll see how that shakes down once these things hit the ground. So one more point that Robbie brought up last week is he addressed the question that most of us have was, hey, how much product testing has been done or will be done before this thing releases in November? Robbie brought up the five years of testing they've been doing essentially uh, five years ago once he designed the double X and all the racing they've done uh, most recently at the Mint 400 this year, Dakar and so on. And he also mentioned that there are several prototypes running around with completed driveline components out in Parker. So it's good to know that. Robbie, let's see some footage of those things running around. All right, so moving on to this week's presentation. Yep, you saw the title. This CVT transmission is going to have three gears. So really cool feature. And not only did he mention that, but he mentioned that he's working with two titans in the off-road industry for building high-performance transmissions, Albans and Weddle, and use their help and input when designing this new system. So basically all of us that own side-by-sides with a CVT would be excited. We'd all love to have a third gear. This makes a lot of sense. He mentioned being in Baja, going down fast roads or transit sections uh, would definitely be better for fuel economy, keep the vehicle down in the lower RPMs. It's a win-win and uh, yeah, I bet 99.9% .9 of all CVT owners would love to have a third gear. So awesome feature. So this week Robbie gets really technical on the breakdown video and I really think it's a good watch, especially if you're like me, someone who doesn't have an engineering background and I'm not overly technical. I rebuilt a few dirt bike top ends, two and four stroke in my day, but he does a really good job of breaking down the mechanics behind what's going on in a, in a way that's easy to understand, or at least it felt that way for me. Well, he breaks down a transmission feature, which he says is probably the coolest part of the entire gearbox, and that is an industry-exclusive torque-limiting clutch, which is built in, that he explains this feature can prevent belt and gearbox failures. So he does a great job of explaining why, he talks about pounding whoops in San Felipe, and why this feature is so cool, and why it's gonna help with the longevity of not only the gearbox, but belts. So I love that he's transparent and he says, look guys, we're gonna need to work on this all summer because it's definitely a calibration that we need to make sure is accurate before this thing rolls off the showroom floor. So if you have a Razor or an X3, one thing that's a bummer is if you want to go between low and high gear, you've gotta to come to a complete stop. And from how Robbie is describing it, it makes it sounds like you will be able to shift on the fly. It would make sense going from high to the cruise gear or from second to third, you're probably already going to be going 40 miles an hour. So I'm just gonna show you a clip of how Robbie breaks it down and what he says about it. Um, we believe that we'll be able to do shift on the fly, but I won't, don't want to commit to that 100% right now. So by CVT, you could put it into high gear and drive away from high gear or overdrive. You could pop into middle gear second or first and drive away. I will guarantee you'll be able to do that. And I can promise you we're working on a, on a shift without lift program for this UTV, free speed. So after watching that, it's hard to deduce 100% that that's what he means, that you can shift on the fly because he does mention a shift without lift program that they're working on. Um, we'll wait to see what happens, but it does sound like you will be able to go from high second to third, uh, first to second while you're moving, which is a really, really cool feature. 
So speaking of shifting on the fly, let's talk about the front differential, which also is gonna have a feature to shift on the fly from four wheel drive to a complete locker. Now, he does mention this locker is designed for low speed rock crawling mud situations. He does say that it'll push like a dump truck, but yes, you'll have all, all four wheels locked up. Awesome, if you wanna go to Moab, do some legit rock crawling. Uh, sounds like it's gonna work really well. One other nice addition of the front diff is it's also going to have a torque limiting clutch, as Robbie calls it, to prevent big spikes from causing any catastrophic failures. So there's some more engineering that Robbie gets into, which is a really cool point that's worth bringing up. He talks about their patented CV locking mechanism. So Robbie mentioned that this is originally the design he wanted to put in the double X, but was unable to. And basically this system plunges on the ball bearings, not on the splines, which is what Robbie says leads to the speed having almost no track change throughout the 25 inches of wheel travel. When you add this up with the geometry of the suspension, this leads to the tire staying in the same place and most likely leads to much better handling. And he says this is a big advantage compared to any other competitor in the side-by-side -side industry. One more quick note, tires, a lot of people have been asking which tires is it going to come with. He said that there is a 75% chance that they will be speed developed tires and he gives us a little sneak peek. Not 100%, but he does give us a little look of what they might look like should speed design their own tire. So that's gonna do it for this week, guys. Lots of exciting information in the form of cool features, um, more validation that they have been testing, reiterated they've had years of racing testing experience, and we all know racing is about as hard as you can be on these things, so sounds like they really just need to keep working hard. Wanna see some video of these prototypes in action. The CAD drawings are cool, but we all want a little bit more. I do think uh, they're gonna have no problem selling these first 500 units, and yeah, like he said, you know, at this point, they've got one shot to really prove it and come out with a really reliable vehicle right out of the gate. And he's like Babe Ruth, he's calling his shots. So, so stick with us and we'll have all the latest updates as they come about. One thing I know for sure, if you're not a believer or if you're a hater, you just don't think this thing's gonna see the light of day, deep down you really want this thing to come out and be badass because it's gonna make it better for all of us in the industry. Competition is great. It's gonna force the hand of the other OEMs to step it up. So. Fingers crossed for you guys. I hope you do it. I'm excited. I might be a potential customer myself. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.